Yo, what is up, Raider Nation? It's your boy Samara Raider back at it again with another episode of Nation News. Now, before I get started with this video, if this is the first time you're coming across my channel and you love the Las Vegas Raiders, then hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this. Roll to 30K, baby. With that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's get into your Nation News. And you tell them one thing. Just one thing, dude. Today, John Gruden actually surprised his team with a day off for the hard work over the past two weeks of training camp. Now, one player that actually seemed ready to go out there and get started with practice was our quarterback, Derek Carr. After the defense showed out in yesterday's camp with three interceptions and a forced fumble, Carr was ready to get some revenge and quote unquote, kick the crap out of them. Unfortunately for DC, he'll have to wait another day. Now, one big thing that I took away from Derek Carr was that he said that this is the most competitive training camp that he's ever been a part of. And when you watch the film, you just see the effort. Now, after hearing that, it's good to see that this team is competitive, especially in camp. You guys seen yesterday, the defense held up, you know, three interceptions, a forced fumble. Man, when's the last time you've seen our defense do that in an actual game? Again, we do have to take a step back and realize that this is just camp. Hopefully, they can keep that same energy once we get to the regular season. But DC's not lying. I've seen a lot of competitiveness out there, you know, that that clip with Ron Miles and Derek Carr going back and forth. Derek Carr even calling out the DBs for holding and whatnot, and DBs saying that they, they've been locking down these guys and seeing all of the, the, seeing all of the clips, you know, Trayvon Merrick with the uh, pass breakup, Casey Hayward with the pass breakup, even uh, Brian Edwards out there uh, making a beautiful catch out there against uh, Keyshawn Nixon. This type of energy really gets me pumped up for the season and uh, come this week for our first preseason game, I just I, I just can't wait to see what they're going to put on the field, especially in the regular season. I want to see this defense step up. That's the biggest thing I'm really looking forward to is our defense and how well they're going to play. We already know what our offense is going to bring because we basically got mostly all the same players with some key additions here and there, but this defense defense has been revamped from the from the ground up so like i said before uh with all the good things that we've been hearing in training camp and all of the the, the praise that we've been seeing a lot of these players get hopefully they could keep that same energy once the season actually starts so just when you thought that we had enough defensive linemen on the roster, just like DJ Khaled, the Raiders went out and got another one. The team announced today that they have signed Oakland native defensive tackle Ethan Westbrook. Now Westbrook was a part of the Raiders training camp back in 2019. In 2020, he spent some time with the San Francisco 49ers, but Westbrook hasn't played in a regular season since 2018 with the LA Rams. In his career, he's played 67 games with 11 starts, totaling 79 tackles and nine sacks. At first, I was kind of confused about this signing especially with the depth that we already have on this defensive line we have a lot and i mean a lot of players on this defensive line but shout out to my guy vincent b in the place to be he kind of cleared things up tweeting the interesting nuance about ethan westbrook signing is what it says about the raiders defensive line and depth rotation they've got a lot of guys that they like and in the rotation that they prefer not to play much through preseason basically saying that westbrook was brought in to play in the preseason i don't know if he's gonna make the actual roster like i said before we have so much depth on this defensive line uh and i know that the Raiders don't want to risk anything with these vets throughout the preseason. They want to wait and save them for the actual season to come because, I mean, it does make sense. We signed these guys to come in and, and make an impact on the defensive line through the season and we don't want anything to happen, you know, knock on wood. Now, that doesn't mean that we're not going to see any of our vets out there playing. It just means that these guys are not going to play as much as we think they are. And a corresponding move, the Raiders have waived cornerback Sean Crawford. So in some other news, the Raiders made some small changes on the defensive side, moving rookie edge rusher Malcolm Coons to outside linebacker. I mean, today was my first day playing something like linebacker, so it was just kind of, I'm going to get in where I fit in type of situation. So wherever Gus or the coaches thinks that I'd be the most successful or I can help the team the most, Throw me in there because I'm going to play. It is interesting to see how well Malcolm Kuntz would play at the position, especially if he gets some snaps in preseason. But I honestly don't see him competing for a starting spot. I could be wrong. At this point, with the crowded room that we already have on this defensive line, it is good to see that Kuntz is at least getting a chance to play multiple positions. I don't know what it is about the Raiders switching some of these guys' position when they come to the team. You know, this is not the first time that this has happened. Tanner Muse was drafted as a safety and brought in to play linebackers. Same with Divine Diablo. He was a safety brought in to be 
be a linebacker. And now Malcolm Koontz, who is an edge rusher, is going to be transitioning to, well, I'm not saying that he's going to transition to, but he's going to get some snaps at the linebacker position. I kind of wish that they could let these rookies, you know, practice and play at the position that they were brought in to play. But hey, Gus Bradley probably sees something in him. I mean, if you look back at the Raiders history, you know, the last player that they drafted from Buffalo ended up being an all pro at the linebacker position and at the edge rusher position. So who knows? At the end of the day, as long as Malcolm Koontz can get to the quarterback and call some pressure, unlike some clown that actually plays in Santa Clara now, then that's all that matters. But Raider Nation, what are your thoughts about Malcolm Koontz at the linebacker position? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, since we're talking about linebackers, let's talk about KJ Wright. According to NFL Rumors on Twitter, they tweeted, Seahawks free agent KJ Wright still considering the Raiders as a top option. This will be interesting to see how it plays out. Now you guys already know, I'm all in for KJ Wright becoming a Raider. And, and seeing this, I don't know how true it is. I know it's quote unquote a rumor, but I honestly think that this is actually true. KJ Wright has been weighing his option between the Seahawks or the Raiders. And I feel like KJ just needs a new change of scenery and what better place than Las Vegas with your old defensive coordinator and Gus Bradley. So hopefully in these next couple of days, we can hear the breaking news of KJ Wright signing with the Raiders. It only makes sense. And like I said before, this is a guy that could come in, step in, already knows the defensive scheme can help these young guys, especially at the linebacker position. We got guys already playing linebacker like Tanner Muse, uh, Malcolm Koontz now. So I, I feel like this guy could come in and step in and maybe start on the team. And hopefully we can see him in preseason. But with that being said, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you guys actually think that KJ Wright will sign with the Raiders pretty soon. Let me know down in the comments below. All right, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys today on this episode of Nation News. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel and you love weekly Raider content, especially with the season coming around, then hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this. Roll to 30K, baby. We are almost there, so help your boy out. With that being said, until the next video, this is your boy, Simone Raider, and your boys, yeah. Thank you.